we are next guys what an insanely bullish week for crypto we had we had fit 21 pass the anti cbdc bill pass we saw ethereum etfs get approval and xrp now being able to be traded on coinbase in new york now Everyone, their brother, dog, and cat is talking about a potential XRP ETF coming. I'm sure I could be more bullish, but I just don't know how. Hi, and welcome back, guys. Hope you all are having a fantastic day out there. All I ever ask is if you do like talking about XRP and Ripple, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop an X in the comment section, smash that like button, and share the video. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution now guys as we take a look forward as to what is next for xrp did brad garlinghouse the ceo of ripple just tell us that an xrp etf is next as he reposts here today from the block an exclusive standard charter analyst says other crypto etfs such as solana and xrp is likely a 2025 story as Justin Watcher Guru putting out Standard Charter Bank says Solana and XRP ETFs could be next in 2025. Now, last night in my video, I talked about how I'm even more so bullish, believing that this year, rather, we could potentially see an XRP ETF happen or at least get announced. We saw the Bitcoin ETFs happen, and then not long thereafter, Ethereum ETF stepping up to the plate and getting approved. Now, this is an election year. Like I said, things are being set at the top that is making this a much more speedy, rapid uh, situation than what we've seen in the past from the SEC. Now, direct quote from Standard Charter Bank analyst Geoffrey. Kendrick saying that the next chapter for crypto ETFs may be around the corner in 2025. A direct quote for other coins like Solana XRP markets will look ahead to their eventual ETF status as well. This is likely a story, likely a 2025 story, not a 2024 story. One. Now, in several cases, the core technology is similar to ETH. It would be difficult for SEC to claim they were securities given the ETH position. The crypto industry now seems to have political backing on both sides, and that's just it. The bipartisan support that we've got from both Republicans and Democrats is moving this along much faster again in an election year. We know that XRP is not a security, and when we take a look at it in terms of what this is going to do for the underlying asset XRP once there's an XRP ETF, regarding the ETH, ETFs, Kinnick expects trading to commence next month and reiterates that such funds could bring inflows worth 15 to 45 billion within the first 12 months. Now, I believe that is extremely conservative as he believes we're going to see an 8,000 ETH this year. I believe we're looking closer at 10 to 12, at least by mid 2025. That's where we're looking. Now, Standard Charter, the price of a digital asset will be what people are willing to pay for it. Market cap will be irrelevant. This is something we've been talking for years now as so many people out there are so hyper-focused on market cap. This is a digital revolution. This is a market that we've never had. And so an emerging market with new digital assets like XRP, no one can tell you what a cap for a digital asset like, like XRP is going to be at because we've never seen anything like this in this emerging market. Now, listen here to Standard Charter CEO. A much more interesting role than a crypto market is a role for digital assets marketplace. Check it out. I do think that there's, there's a role in the world for a well-regulated, well-run cryptocurrency market. There's a much more interesting, from my perspective, role in the world for a digital assets marketplace and, and the difference between the two of course is you know cryptocurrencies are not fiat currencies they're, they're not controlled by by central bankers or uh, or issued by governments or and the value is a function of what people are prepared to pay for it not what's the fundamental value of bitcoin who knows uh and even with gold we can say what's the fundamental value of gold and ultimately at some point it's going to end up on your ring or on your finger or on your ear 
in, in some markets, but uh, Bitcoin is not going to end up uh, hung around your neck anytime soon, I don't think. So uh, I have no idea where the price of Bitcoin is going to go. I think uh, there's a group of investors <coughs> who think that, that uh, cryptocurrencies have, have an interesting place in, in, in an investment portfolio. And there's another group of, of uh, speculators who like to speculate on anything that moves around a lot in price. That's okay as long as it's done in an appropriate way. And the you know, the, the infrastructure implosion that you mentioned with with uh, FTX implosion, people going to jail, etc., are indications of, of market failures uh, or regulation failures or legislation failures, uh, bad behavior that uh, don't detract from the whatever the underlying value of a cryptocurrency is. I'm not too focused on that to be honest. Importantly, the the infrastructure to support cryptocurrencies is the same as the infrastructure to support the, the, the whole other range of, let's call it, much more obviously societally useful digital assets. I'm not saying that, that Bitcoin's not societally useful. It's quite controversial whether it is or not. I don't much care. Uh, and I think anybody that's, that's buying or selling should have responsibilities to buy and sell responsibly and should be, uh, we should have the mechanisms to make sure that they comply with the law. Uh, and I like that he put out the fact that useful and alluding to utility. Bitcoin can be a store of value, sure, if you see value in it. But when we take a look at XRP, we see value and not only a store of value and an appreciating digital asset, but we see real utility and real use cases, more so being built and developed every single day as developers are coming on in flocks to the XRPL. Now, Brad Garlinghouse, I wanted to put this on your radar, says, for whatever reason, I've been hanging on to this one for a while. Probably my all-time favorite from the XRP community. It's been hanging on a wall in my house, but with all the momentum in the market, I wanted to share it. <laughs> and he has laughed now, but one day XRP will power the world. And I truly believe that, guys. With the momentum we had this week, there is no reason why anyone should be negative right now. This market is moving ahead in lightning speed. I know that sometimes it doesn't look like that when we take a look day to day at the prices but you take a look six months to a year from now and I believe we will be amazed at how far this market will be ahead. Now, breaking XRP is not a security promoted at Trump New York campaign rally as we see right here. Yes, indeed, XRP is not a security. Alex Cobb puts out, what if it wasn't a fake filing all along. Remember, just months ago, we had essentially this filing of an iShares XRP trust ETF. Very, very interesting concept. Guys, I appreciate everyone's support. I'm also going to link my second channel where we talk about the overall broader markets. We've got a show for you there. If you want to join us, we'll see you all in the next one.